Hello family, Coach Kenneth here. It's a great and wonderful Wednesday morning. Hopefully you're having a great and wonderful, wonderful Wednesday morning also. Right now I'm sitting in front of an assisted care facility, right? Sitting outside an assisted care facility. Just met one of my customers here. I won't give the name, but I'm sitting out front and I'm looking to my right and I'm seeing two elderly ladies sitting outside in a chair and they both have walkers, right? And... This is an excellent time to talk about the topic I wanted to talk about today. You know, people end up in assisted care facilities for different reasons. One, sometimes the families, right, can't take care of the elderly parents. So they make a decision. They don't really want to do it, but they put them in an assisted care facility. And then the people here take care of their mothers and fathers to the best of their abilities, and they pay monthly or weekly, however the case is, whatever the arrangements are, they pay to have their parents taken care of. Another reason why people end up in the assisted care facilities is because they may have some health issues, right? Sometimes it's a nursing home, but may have a few health issues. And again, they make a decision. They put them in an assisted care facility. They can get their meds, get their medication, be watched after while they're still making payment. They're still paying for their family to be here. Sometimes insurance can cover that, right? Whatever the case is. But another reason people end up in an assisted care facility is because of neglect of health, right? Now, people want to be able to live on their own for as long as they possibly can. They want to drive their own cars. They want to live in their own homes, want to cook their own foods, right? They want to be totally independent as much as they possibly can, not depend on other people. However, what happens is a lot of times what causes the person to end up in an assisted care facility in the first place and not saying those those facilities are bad but saying there's one way to prevent being put a place in there uh, is when you start to focus more on your health on your wellness on your fitness see there is a comedian uh, actor that I used to watch years ago growing up as a child. His name is Bob Hope, right? I don't know if you, any of you ever heard of him, but Bob Hope was a very, very famous actor, made tons of money, right? And he lived to be about 100 years young. Uh, but at that age, he wound up being in a wheelchair. And he was being presented with a Lifetime Achievement Award or something of that nature, right? So he said he, he was rolled out to the audience and he said to the audience in a jokingly way, but he was serious, he said, if I'd known I was going to live this long, I would have taken better care of myself. Now, the audience laughed, chuckled, but he was being very, very serious. And that's what happens to a lot of people. And that's one of the major reasons they end up in the assisted care facility, because they've neglected their health for a very long period of time, right? Sometimes things happen, but for the most part, a lot of people neglect themselves, neglect their health for a very long period of time, and the body starts to break down. Now, many of us, we have a habit of dressing up the outside, right? If you're a woman, you got your hair, you got your nails, your pedicure, your man, you know, manicure, you, you, know, you, you, you got you know, the, the, the makeup, the lashes, the lipstick, the moisture, you got everything, even the clothes, right? And the bling, bling, and the drip, all that stuff, right? If you're a man, you do exactly pretty much the same thing. You don't wear the makeup, right? You don't wear the hair. But you also dress up the outside, make the outside look appealing to yourself and to others. And sometimes we do those things to attract other people. While neglecting the internal, the most important part of our bodies, the important part of our lives is our health, which allows us access to those things, other things we enjoy in the first place. Right. And many people say we no, we say we love ourselves. I love myself. I love me some me. But we don't take care of ourselves internally. We take care of the outside, make the outside look good. Right. Even corpses wear makeup. Even corpses get dressed up. Even corpses wear weave. Right. But they're not it's not benefiting them in any way at all. Except it looks good for the people who see them at the funeral. Because you're not a corpse. We're not, you know, not, not corpses. 
taking care of the inside is the most important thing of all. Because that's going to give us longevity. That's going to give us more freedom within our own bodies. Right? Give us freedom, have more access to our limbs. Give us freedom because we have more energy. We stay more, we stay more youthful and vibrant a lot longer. Right? And that offsets or delays or cancels out assistant care facility living all together. Right? And gives you the ability and power to live in your own home. To take care of yourself. Right? Unless there's some financial stresses on the on the, uh, the children, whoever's taking care of you, then I understand why they might put you in an assisted care facility. Right? But as far as your health, you are a healthy individual and you have the longevity because you've invested not only on the outside, making yourself look appealing, but now you've taken care of the inside, which is the most important. The inside is what gives you access. That's the keys that give you access to your life, period. That's the key that gives you access to your family, period. And many of us neglect that. We take it for granted. We go years and years and years and never take care of it, right? We, we want to do as little, much as we possibly can to not stress ourselves, not stress our bodies, right? We don't like to work out. We don't like to exercise, right? We don't like to eat right. We want to eat whatever we want to eat, whenever we want to eat, right? And do whatever we want to do until the body starts to break down, so start, until the body starts to tell on you. And then it becomes an issue. And then even when it becomes an issue, we still want to neglect it, overlook it, not really give it any attention, praying, hopefully it goes away, maybe it goes better, I'll take a few Tylenols, take some aspirin, right? I don't feel the pain anymore, I can function, I can go on with my life. So you're putting a band-aid on top of an open wound that's only getting worse and worse and worse. Till eventually, you can't put a band-aid on anymore, right? Now the doctor's telling you, you're going to be on these medications for the rest of your life. Because when a doctor gives you meds, they don't really expect you to get better. Being truthful and honest, doctors don't really, once they put you on a medication, a major medication, they don't really expect you to get better. They expect you to be that way for the rest, for the rest of your life. And eventually, your body will build up an immunity, right, to that medication. Or the situation will become worse. Now they have to up your medication, give you stronger medication. And then if that doesn't work, now they, they start talking about surgical procedures, right? Cutting stuff off of you, cutting stuff out of you. When all the while that can be prevented. That's always preventable by simply making little investments in our health and our wellness, right? The body was made to heal itself. It was made to do incredible things when we give it the resources that allow it to do that. But when you neglect yourself, you don't want to cut out certain foods. You don't, don't want to eat certain foods. You don't want to exercise, right? You put yourself in a position where now you don't, you're not going, you're not going to win, because if you don't use it, you're going to lose it. That's the actual fact. The body was meant to move, right? Now, when you exercise, you don't have to go to the gym for an hour. You don't have to do a big bodybuilding session, but you want to do something that's going to put some positive stress called positive stress on your body, right? On your limbs. That's going to keep your muscles strong. That's going to keep your bones nice and dense, ladies, right? That doesn't keep your metabolism at a higher rate. So now you keep the body fat down to a minimum, keep the weight down to a minimum, right? That's going to allow you mobility. That's going to allow you to wake up pain-free, move through life pain-free, go to bed pain-free and not be on any medication, right? I'm 55 years young. Never been on any meds, not on any meds. Always been uh, pretty much healthy for the last 12 years, extremely healthy. Um, don't get sick, don't get headaches, don't get colds, right? Has no allergies. I feel as young as I've been when I was in my 20s. And I'm getting stronger and stronger every single day. Because I eat foods that allow me, allow my body to, to heal itself, to stay in, in a healthy state. And always win. So ladies and gentlemen, if you want to change your life, if you want to live better, it's time to invest in you because you are the most important commodity on the planet. And when you do that, you'll be a benefit to yourself, an asset to your family, and all you do is win. Thanks for watching. The President God of me, blessed the President God of you. Keep winning. I'll talk to you soon.